make sure you hit that subscribe button right below and subscribe to my channel. I'm wanting this to be interactive. Please share this video with all your loved ones, friends, followers, coworkers. It is so important to challenge yourself daily. This is a safe space. I just am here to encourage everybody to get up and move their body and just learn something new, especially when talking about mental health and growth. And there's only one way to grow and that is by challenging yourself as much as possible. And let's just get up and feel better because you can always feel better, right? I think that is very important. We can always change our mindset if we want to. It's up to you. Jive, the fifth Latin American dance in the competitive world. So let's start with the basics, okay? So jive is a high energy dance. And with that comes having to dance on your toes, on the balls of your feet, and lifting up your knees. So a lot of jive action comes from obviously the legs and feet just like every other dance but what we want to do here is we want to create lightness when it comes from the waist up but you still want to be able to plant your feet on the ground by picking up your knees that's how you create the illusion that you have tons of energy let's just start like this you see here my heels are off the floor i'm not doing that, okay? So you wanna create length still through the spine, but you still need to pick up the knees, pick up the knees, okay? So you're on the balls of your feet, okay? And jive still has pelvis action, okay? It may not be like sexy pelvis action, but technically your pelvis swings like a pendulum from side to side. Put your hands on your hips or waist, and let's bevel or pop that right leg. And you're just gonna go from right to left, right to left. And if you don't think about what your pelvis or hips are doing, it'll naturally swing from left to right, right, left, this way, this way. Okay, so just start getting into this feeling of what that feels like and you wanna also make sure you distribute your weight 100% from one leg to the next, okay? Get those heels up off the floor and let's speed it up. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, great job. So when it comes to posture, your spine still needs to be nice and tall, okay? But you don't necessarily have to Stand like this, nice and straight. You can have a little bit of a bend, but notice how I don't bend like that, right? So my back is still very straight, okay? And I can still pick up my legs and feet, and my knees can still pop up. Ba, ba, da, ba, da, 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 da. It does help if you want to snap. You can snap down, it's like your hand or your arm is telling your feet what to do. Okay, so here's your step. Number one, okay, out of three different steps you're gonna learn and eventually put it all together. This is the basic, basic move in the jive. You're gonna go rock step, triple step, triple step. Rock step, triple step, triple step. Rock step, triple step. If you say it out loud, it definitely helps with the rhythm of the jive. Rock, step, triple step, triple step, and rock, step, triple step, triple step. Okay, so let's break it down. Let's just do first, let's just do rock steps. So all you're doing is you're doing exactly what you're saying. You're rocking and stepping. Rock, step, I'm still on the balls of my feet, if you guys are not used to uh, wearing heels your whole life, you might get a little sore after this, but a little soreness doesn't hurt you. So you're gonna go rock, step, rock. Notice how my body turns to the diagonal. Okay, so I'm not doing rock step like that. I am keeping my body, upper body still, but my legs go to the corner of the room. Rock, step. Rock, step, rock, step. Now on the toes, rock, step, rock, step. 
Now from here, we're gonna do triple steps. Triple step, triple step. Keep doing it, say it out loud. Triple step, triple step. Keep your steps nice and compact. Rock, step, triple step, triple step. Just do triple steps. Triple step, triple step. Keep the knees up. Just remember, like you're in hot sand, it does help. Because the jive tempo is pretty fast. And triple step, triple step, triple step. Five more. Last one. Okay, great job. Okay, so let's put part one of the jive together. So what you learn separately was the fact that you're on your toes, right? Down the balls of your feet. While you're dancing this, your hips will naturally swing from side to side like a pendulum. Your spine is straight, but it's a little bit, you can still tilt from the core, okay? And your knees need to come up. We start on eight, five, six, seven, eight. Rock, step, triple step, triple step, and rock, step. Rock, step. Snap it if you want. That does help to get into the rhythm of what the drive is. Rock, step, triple step, triple step. If you wanna keep your hand on your waist, you can do that too. Rock, step, rock, step, triple step. Notice how I go diagonal or to a corner. I turn a little bit as I do a rock step and I turn a little bit again. Step, triple step. Great job. Let's talk detail. So in the jive, it's important to look light, but you don't want, you still wanna be grounded. So ballroom dancing is very contradicting in that sense. But with this especially, it's like stand tall, but don't stand tall. Cause you don't wanna to look too proper when you're, when you're dancing the jive. You, all the rhythm in the jive comes from your core. Okay, so the music is literally, you're continuing that tick of the jive. It goes one, a two, a three, a four, a five, a six, a seven, eight, that's how fast the jive is. The only way to create this speed is if you don't put those heels down. Because think about how long it takes to put the heel down and how much more energy and longer it'll take to get back to where you were. Once you start the momentum, keep it going. Okay, so this is a great practice to do, is to literally jog in place or march in place, or like it, but do so on the balls of your feet to this rhythm, two, three, a four, a five, a six. Snap it, and again, don't worry too much about what your hips are doing. They will naturally swing from side to side. But all hip action is, is distributing your full weight onto the leg and relaxing the hip on top of it. Okay, so your pelvis relaxes on top of the leg, but only if you transfer your weight fully onto the leg. You can't have hip action if you dance between two feet like this. Your split weight is what we call it in the dance world. Okay, so once you have this motion and this basic movement of the jive, you can start practicing your rock steps. Just for now, you can go rock step, march in place, rock step, march in place, rock step, march in place. I'll do a 360 for you. Rock step, march in place, rock step, March in place, rock, step, march in place, rock, step. So when you see us do kicks and stuff in the jive, it's only, the only reason why we don't look heavy is because we're constantly on the balls of our feet, okay? And whenever we land onto the floor, we compress and use the floor to our benefit by bending and straightening the legs, okay? In order to create that trampoline effect. Ba, ba, da, da, da. This is also a good practice, like a good exercise to do. If you just softly, and obviously if you guys feel any pain whatsoever anywhere, stop the video, don't hurt yourself, it's not worth it. Once you have this action, you can feel free to add the triple steps. Rock, step, trip, and say it out loud. It always helps. So all you're doing is for the triple steps, you're going together, together, small step. A lot of people make a mistake and they do this. Step, 
you've lost it because now you're catching up to the music instead of being on top of the music, okay? So small, 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 triple small step, triple, tippy toe, tippy toe, triple step, triple step. And for all of you guys who have perfected this now, you wanna get those knees up right before the triple step. Knee up, triple step. Knee up, triple step. Triple step, triple step. All right, so that's a wrap. Make sure you hit that bell notification below if you want to be notified whenever I come out with a new tutorial. I always am a huge advocate for mental health and I truly believe dancing has saved my life in so many ways on top of all the other resources I shared with you guys, but try it, challenge yourself, because at the end of the day, what could go wrong? Really nothing, right? You're not being judged. This is mainly just for you and for your own mental health, which you should definitely put as a priority because without that in check, how can you serve others, right? Like it's important to put yourself first in any circumstance. Um, and I believe moving your body and challenging your brain at the same time does just that. So sending you all love, have fun with this, and I can't wait to hear your guys' comments and subscribe to my channel. I plan on rolling more of these tutorials out as much as possible. You got this.